Today we're going to talk about mastering the medium of watercolor and the concept of macro skills and micro skills. What up friends, Lebron here. Thank you for joining me in another video. Today I want to talk about a concept I've been toying around with uh, lately and it talks about watercolor painting and mastering this crazy skill that is just there's always new things to learn and I want to make a very simple division into two main fields um, and I think this will simplify the process so on the one hand we have the macro skills and on the other hand we have the micro skills now let me explain to you what I mean by that okay and let's start with micro skills because micro skills are a little simpler to understand I believe so Micro skills are the actual painting skills of how do I blend in an area, how do I merge together two colors or two washes, how do I get an even wash, how can I get, uh, how can I master the wet on wet technique, um, mastering different ratios of water to paint, um, all of these small skills that in, in the beginning you have no idea, all of your washes turn out really um, sort of fragmented and it just it's not generally speaking a good result because of technical skills you need to master um, mixing even like mixing the right colors if you're trying to achieve a color a specific color how to mix that so these are all micro skills it's things that you I think it's the first thing you learn uh, when you start learning watercolor now on the other hand we have what I like to call macro skills. Now macro skills aren't necessarily as straightforward. When I talk about macro skills I talk about color selection. How do I know from before I even start painting which colors I'm going to use? Um, how can I create a workflow that actually works well for me and leads to the result I want? Do I cover everything with paint? Do I work in small areas first? Uh, and then sort of merge it together? Do I start with a very very light wash and then do a lot of glazing and a lot of layering? Or do I just go bold with strong contrasts? And these are all things that there isn't really a right or wrong answer to them. It's more of a personal choice, style, skill, and maybe a bit of actual like technical knowledge that helps you to do that, okay? Another example for a macro skill is composition. How do I place things within uh, the painting? How do I place everything in a way that will be pleasing? And not just the objects I'm drawing, but different colors as well. Where do I warm things up? Where do I cool things up? These are not stupid questions. These are very smart questions. Um, that, that are more on the macro side of things, okay? So I want to just reiterate that the micro skills are the actual down to the painting skills. Like uh, if I want to create a wash that looks even or if I want to start dark and then go light, how do I mix a specific color, the water to pigment ratio, all of these things that are very micro. And then on the macro is more of the decision making side of things. And for me, and this is why I started playing around with this concept in my mind is that I feel like I'm on the verge of being really good with the micro and just getting started with the macro. So I feel like, and, and every few months I, I start to feel that again, like, hmm, I really got down the technical side of things. And then I discover there's more to learn, of course, but um, I start to feel really comfortable with all the very basic techniques. Um, I am going through a process of going back to them and focusing more on blending and, and mixing and um, and lifting and all of these very technical skills and value matching as well. I'm starting to go back to them because I feel they need strengthening, but I do feel like I'm on the, on the verge of being really competent with them. And with that comes a very scary understanding that the macro skills are something I'm like completely oblivious about because I feel like even when I get all the micro skills right in a painting, it's still doesn't really get what I want for the most part, okay? And the macro skill is really what makes a, a, a painting tell a story, um, have an, a certain atmosphere, have a certain emotion to it. And this is the part where I feel like I'm still really learning and struggling with. Uh, so I just wanted to share with you this idea because I think it's an, a helpful separation. Um, 
because many of you in your watercolor journey or whatever it is, you're maybe stuck on the micro skills and you wonder why the macro doesn't work out. So the picture doesn't convey a message, but it's because there's a skill, still skills to learn. Okay, but even once you master those, there's the more higher level thinking of skills that, um, like how do I plan things out in a good way? And a lot of it, again, is personalized, like the work process can be personalized. A lot of people cover everything together, just get rid of the white, and then with a very light wash, and then kind of add in bold uh, contrasts. Um, maybe do a lot of lifting. Some people prefer to add very weak layers one over the other and really slowly build it up. Some people go what you call a la prima, just go one go and put in all of the of all of the paint there and it somehow works. Some people just work wet and wet. Now I think a lot of people do this these things as a crutch because that's the way they get used to doing things. I'm fault. I, I'm at fault with this too. I cover the entire paper with colors, leave a few highlights, and it's just because this is how I learned to do it. But no one says this is the right way to do it. And so this is something I'm working on right now. Um, so a lot of people use this as a crutch. And I see a lot of the, the, the artwork and it's not that, that good because they use a certain workflow that either doesn't work for them personally or doesn't work for the subject they're working on. And I don't want to go through a sort of default work process that doesn't match the subject or doesn't match my style and the things I enjoy. So I really try to perfect this macro side of things, okay? And this is basically what I wanted to share in this video. So I want you to let me know in a comment below what you think of this and where you feel like you may be stuck or where you feel like you're making the most progress right now. Um, are you working on these micro skills? Are you more into the macro and trying to really figure out how to pull all of this together? Because the scary reality is that even when you get all of the micro skills down, you still have the macro to deal with. Like how do I connect all of these very dumb skills that are just, you know, muscle memory, how do I turn them into something that's you know, a little more impactful? And I think this is, making this transition is a very challenging uh, point. Um, and this concept, I believe, will apply to many other uh, areas of, of art as well. So uh, I'm just curious to know if you see this uh, correlation and if you feel the same way about this uh, like me. For example, in terms of the macro skills, when I sketch using pen, I have that down. I, 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 don't, I know exactly what to do, how to pull things together and how to create, get the sort of um, message that I want across or the impression that I want across. But with watercolor, it's a completely different story because I'm more new to it, you know. Um, so anyway, leave your thoughts below in a comment. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have tons of upcoming videos about painting, about drawing three-dimensional shapes, which I really enjoyed. I picked up a few paints in really good prices, like maybe tenth of the price because there was a special um, discount and I want to present uh, these to you, some uh, old, old Holland they're called, I believe. Um, so yeah, just a lot of fun things uh, upcoming. Uh, also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, especially also Snapchat, but Instagram mainly because this is where I share when I buy something new, I take a picture of it. Um, I have the stories there. It's just a really, really cool platform and I answer messages there. So if you have a question, it's a really good place to ask me uh, the question. And this is it. I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you again in the next video. Thank you.